Welcome into the All-Star Weekend edition of the Fantasy Pros Trade Videos. Today, we're picking on some All-Stars that maybe we can get a little boost in that trade value if we're trying to get some arms and some bats. Now, I know, trade away. Dodge. Gotta be prepared to have things thrown at my head because you guys get angry when we ever talk about getting rid of any of your favorite players. But this is about optimization. These guys are awesome. I'm not just trying to sell them to sell them. Maybe the All-Star gives them a little bit of a boost. This episode is brought to you by So Rare, digital cards that play in fantasy matchups. It's pretty awesome. More on them later. So let's see who we've got on this list. No knock on these players that they're not going to finish the second half as good as they were in the first half, but maybe there are a few things that we can look at to potentially trade high. We aren't looking to just unload these players, like I said, but these are guys that we are going to focus on. So friends, strap in, let me know what you think. Here we go. First up, we're looking at Texas Rangers catcher Jonah Heim, the leader in RBI at the catcher position. More than Vlad Guerrero Jr., more than Randy Arozarena, and even more than his teammate Marcus Simeon. Heim has been awesome, no doubt about it, but maybe the second half isn't going to quite be what the first was. He's running quite a higher BABIP than his career, about 60 points higher, in fact. He's got a 12 point dip in his batting average versus XBA. He's also got an over 30 point differential in his batting average against fastballs versus expected batting average against fastballs. So it's expected to get a little bit worse. July's production, it's a lot less than a full month, of course, but so far he's only got two RBI. Another thing to focus on, it's been heavy homers in specific months. 11 of his 12 homers have come out of two months of production. Listen, the Rangers offense has been awesome, but maybe it's cooling just a little bit though. So selling high on the hottest catcher in fantasy might actually have a pretty solid net return. I'm looking to try to unload some Jonah Heim. How about some pitchers? Well, we're looking at Minnesota Twins' Sonny Gray. Sonny Gray has been great this year, as all these guys have been great. It's the all-star game. These are all-stars, no doubt about it. 2.89 ERA, over 100 strikeouts, but things might be slowly unraveling. His ERA has gotten worse each month, from a .77 in March to a 4.5 here in July. We've also seen a full run more of an expected ERA at 3.89. He's also got a 4.14 Sierra, which is not great. This is actually the worst since 2018 and the third worst of his career. His hard hit percentage against is the second worst of his career. We also haven't seen a really big jump in Ks that can mask some of this like we have with Pablo Lopez or with Joe Ryan. His sweeper's been good, but both the fastball and sinker, they're getting hit harder than normal, so that gives him a lot less wiggle room. The fastball, in fact, being hit almost 350 batting average-wise against with a 300 expected batting average. Sonny Gray's been great, but someone might be buying on the All-Star, and I might be selling. Next up here is the Splits King, Marlins outfielder Jorge Soler. Hip-hop, hooray! Holy crap! Soler's been awesome this year. Top 10% in X-Slug, top 10% in X-Woba, Barrel with 23 homers and a top five in Max EV. He's been awesome. So why are we looking to sell high? Well, it's the splits. In only 66 at-bats, Soler has 10 of his 23 homers this year. He's hitting 333 against lefties, which he destroys. Righties, not quite the same. Though the power's still there, he's got 13 homers, but he's only hitting 233 versus righties. Go back to lefties. He's got an over 800 slug, but against righties, it's just 466. We can also see May was a big month for Jorge Soler, as over half of his total home runs came in that month at 12. So severe splits players, just a little bit scarier to me, long, especially long term. So if someone is buying hard for power, Soler is someone that might bring a really solid return, especially, we don't usually talk about this, but looking at maybe dynasty rebuilding owners. This might be someone I'm looking at. All-star trades are brought to you by So Rare. It's not just a game, but it's a collection. Collect your favorite players and put them in lineups weekly to win awesome prizes and show off your scouting and lineup skills to all your friends. Guess what the best part is? You own the card. So. Go pick up a gold Julio Rodriguez on the marketplace today. It's your ownership 
you can do whatever you want with him and sell tomorrow. Go to fantasypros.com slash collect and sign up to play today. Every week, it's a new matchup, so it's never too late to start with So Rare. Want to play with some friends? And us, maybe? Well, go to fantasypros.com slash leading off league to face off against our listeners, plus Joe and myself as well. So Rare, the next era is yours. All right, let's get back to the trades here with a little bit of bigger names on the All-Stars. How about my own Arizona Diamondbacks starting pitcher, Zach Gallen? Gallen is still near the top of the betting favorites for NL Cy Young. But even as a Diamondback fan, I'm looking at the possibility of maximizing trade value if things start to turn. Gallon has a half run higher expected ERA at over 3.6. Not bad at all, not quite Cy Young. He's also getting barreled 3% more this year at 90.9%. That's the first time he's ever had a barrel percentage over 90%. So just the quality of contact is a lot harder. We've also seen a mile per hour dip in his velo, which we're kind of waiting to stabilize. It just hasn't. So here's the thing. The D-backs, they're starting to take their foot off the gas a little bit. They have very little help inside the rotation. They have an awful bullpen and the Dodgers are right on their heels. I personally love Gallon. I've brought him up in the trade four a ton of times and there's no way I want to sell just to sell. But if someone sees him in the all-star game, then here's the Cy Young early odds. He could be had for a haul. It's possible the negatives are more than the anomaly than anything else for Gallon, but sometimes we just gotta take a shot. And this to me is that time for Zach Gallon. Final up here, this is the most dangerous and I am dodging bullets. White Sox, Luis Robert. This is the toughest one to do. And I feel like I picked on the White Sox a bit this year. Not to mention, watch him easily beat Adley Rutschman in the first round of the Home Run Derby. So why is this more tough? It's everything I just said. He's having a career year. Luis Robert has been awesome. But that's just it. The health is always in the back of my mind with Luis Robert. I mean, we're talking huge numbers. Robert has doubled his home run total of any other year, but he's also added 9% more strikeouts to his game. The thing that stood out is the damage that he's done against fastballs this year. <laughs> See that in the Home Run Derby, of course. Hitting over 300 with a very sustainable over 300 XBA against. This is on the fastball. But he's underperformed against breaking pitches and off-speed pitches. He's hitting both 231 against off-speed and breaking. This is lower than last year, while also including a lower expected batting average, significantly lower than last year, against both those type of pitches. He's performing at a first round return. I'm not trying to tell you he's bad whatsoever or that he's gonna become trash. He's not gonna turn into a pumpkin necessarily. Let's not be silly, but for highlighting all-star performances, players that could get a King's Ransom, some of these are just big hauls, but this might be a King's Ransom. Look at Luis Robert. I don't think there's any like real actual tangible stuff about home run derbies ending up ruining a player's swing. But you talk about an injury prone player, obviously the home run derby being an important piece of it. Luis Robert has some warts that if I could trade at the very height, the first round potential, I might look at it with Luis Robert, but also I don't like things thrown at me and I understand if you get mad about it. Well, there you have it, all stars to trade. What are we thinking here? We'll see my friends. This is the time though. Go get those offers out there. Start wheeling and dealing because there's no better time People are starting to kind of check out. All-Star Game boosts so much value on some of these players. I know you can do it, and I know you can make some awesome moves. Thanks to So Rare for sponsoring this video, and make sure you check out fantasypros.com slash premium, the best fantasy tools in the business. That's fantasypros.com slash premium. You can find me on Twitter at is it the Welsh on leading off every Monday through Friday at 12.30 p.m. Eastern. Love to have you there. And I will talk to you next time right here on Fantasy Pros MLB YouTube channel. Bye, friends. <laughs>